Hey, someone's looking at us from a window up there. Oh, it's just my Morgan calling the dogs. They could hear him a mile away. <laughs> that was Dad on the phone. There was something wrong with the car last night. I am relieved to hear that. Well, I mean, he must have got home all right, see? Mrs. Jones, what did you mean last night when you said it might be a coincidence? Coincidence? You know, something to do with old towers. Not really for me to see, but... Timmy! Oh, Timmy! Can't you keep these kids out from under my feet, Mom? I do have a living to make, you know. There are only children, Morgan. Now, just mind you keep that dog on the lead in future. This is a farmyard, not a playground. Blood. Only a rough old shepherd, that you know, but my Morgan is made it ever so cozy inside. You'll see, you'll be tight as a bug in a rug in here. You'll see. There'll be no fear of infection if you use this, see? Eh? Thanks. Sorry we caused you all this bother, Mrs. Jones. Oh, that's all right. Morgan will get over it. But it is best we keep the dogs apart, see? Well, I think you've got enough food here to last you for a couple of days, haven't you? <laughs> I'd better be going then, all right? Bye-bye now. Take care of each other. Have a nice time. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Jones. It'll be much more fun up here on our own. It's cosy, and Timmy will be here to look after us. Only just. I've a good mind to ring Father and say I'm going home. Look, you can see old towers from here. Let's take a closer look. I don't like that place, and I don't really fancy... On second thoughts, a walk might do Timmy good, George. Okay. Fence goes all the way round. It's like a prison town. Looks spooky. Mm. Don't touch it. It might be electrified. Place looks deserted. I bet. Take a look up there. Where? Middle window at the top. Sure there was movement. By the curtain. Ailey! 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 Oh, hello. Seen a little girl by any chance? She's got long hair. No. Sorry. She will keep running to her father on the tops. He looks after the sheep. She never takes a coat or nothing. She'll catch her death. Sometimes I think she's as mad as the old lady. What old lady? Oh, Ma Thomas. She lives over there. If you're lost, you'll not find any help round here. There's none of this keep out nonsense and barbed wire fencing when I work for Mrs. Thomas. Now they won't even let me see the poor old dear. Quite a few of us in the village would like to know what goes on behind that fence. You can smile, young man, but I'm not the only one that thinks it. <laughs> Still, I shouldn't be talking to you about it. If you see Ailey, you tell her it's time to come on home. Bye. What's his name? Timmy, you must be Ailey. Didn't you hear your mother? Mam doesn't like me playing near the old house. All those stories are rubbish. I know a secret way in. I often see Mrs. Thomas peeping through the curtain. She even writes me letters. Letters? She does, too. Dear Ailey, how are you? I am very well. 
You can come to tea because I know you're a good girl. Give, look, look. Give it back, it's no, mine. Hang on, look. Ailey, have you shown this to anyone else? No, I haven't. It's mine. Listen. I need help. I'm a prisoner in my own house while terrible things go on. They've killed my son. Help. Please help. Bronwyn Thomas. What are we going to do? Morgan might still be living with us. Mrs. Jones has gone shopping. She won't be back for hours. This is too important. We've got to show it to someone. Morgan! Morgan, hang on! We've got this letter from Amy. Mrs. Thomas is in trouble. 